Hello everyone, let's do a visit data demo and this time have a look at pivot tables. So here I have a list of folks I have interviewed and I had a series of questions like A1, or A2, what was your age, A3, what was your uh, country of origin, whatever it might be, and there were six questions. And they were in a mind map, which is XML, so I used visit data actually to extract this information into this table, but now I want to be able to have it be a more sensible table where I can take things like an average of age. So what I first need to do is create an index and then try to assign a person ID to each one of these unique people. So to create an index, I just hit the I key. I'm going to rename that to index actually. I'm just going to move it to the left. Now I need to carry it a person ID such that each one of these six questions has a single norm number corresponding to that. So I'm going to do an equals, and I'm going to take the floor of the index number minus 1 divided by 6, and we'll call that person ID. So now I want to pivot. So I want my key column to be my person ID. So that means everything with the same person ID Actually, I can show that, will end up being collapsed into the same row. And what I want is for the questions to become the column headings. And so if I do a Shift W, a pivot on that, well, can see I actually had it and it worked. Now you might think, well, what are all the ones? The default operation on a visit data pivot is the count and each one of these cells had one value. So what we would do is we would go back and say I'm going to aggregate on this column and instead of counting I want you to list the values. Now if I go back to question and I pivot on question and again each one of these values will become the column headers, I can see it worked. And I can see for example people's age and how long they've been around Ages on Reddit are interesting, not so much with this data set. But let's convert this actually into an integer, and then we could do some descriptive statistics on this. So for example, we can do the shift I to describe, and we can see at age I have the max is 65 plus, the min is 23, the median was 39, and the mean was about 38 with a a standard distribution of 10. So these are the age ranges of the folks that I interviewed. I also think because in other instances the Reddit population is so skewed, it can also be useful to talk about quartiles. So what I can do is I can use the Z command, which it's not going to generate a new sheet, but it'll give me some values. So I will do Z plus, and then I will say give me the quintiles. And then I can see the 20th percentile, the age was 29, and the 80th percentile was 50, so the middle central 60% of this population is between 29 and 50. I hope that was useful. Until next time.